Hi, thanks for tuning in again. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to remove sticky residue. You can hear it and see it. It's all foggy. All that is residue from a cheap um, vinyl application. That's one of the things to consider when you're buying vinyl. Um, the better brand, obviously, will leave way less residue. This is not very normal to be so sticky and residue. Anyways, it can happen. So um, we use a special glue remover. Um, we buy it in commercial quantities. So we put it in our own bottles. You might be able to find some on eBay or Amazon. Um, you could also use nail polish remover, stuff like that. We don't recommend it because we don't know exactly the results. The, the plastic or acrylic on these glasses is very sensible, so it might actually damage it. So this we know it doesn't damage. Um, we're going to have some smaller sizes available for customers that want to buy it from our website. So it's very simple, we're just going to spray a little bit of this product. So it holds most of it. Always when dealing with glue, nobody likes to have sticky hands, so we recommend to use gloves. Uh, we just do it here so much that we're used to it. Um, we recommend a shop towel, so you don't have to throw away your towel. We put this so there's no residue on the vehicle. And this is not going to damage. Um, if you want to use the same technique that we use, uh, make sure you use a plastic razor and never, never, never a metal one because you could scratch your headlight. And we're going to let it soak a little bit, um, about three or five minutes until the glue becomes, you'll see, like a jello sort of thing. And this is the real time it takes, so just, you know, so if you need, you're considering putting some smoked headlights, you know, this might be a process that you need to follow. It's still working, it's missing a little bit here. Wanna soak it well. And when you remove it, what you wanna do is sort of keep it together. You see how it likes to sort of stick together. You don't want to smear it on. You sort of want to leave it as a whole. You want to push it together all to the same area. And this is part two of the video that we showed on how to remove the smoked headlight vinyl. And what we discovered after the video is that maybe it had less glue here cause it gets less sun here. So maybe it baked it less. Maybe it was a coincidence that it was easier to remove it without the heat gun. So just FYI. So you see how I'm keeping it together? Because the glue likes to stick together. It likes to be in one piece. So we don't have any residue. 
and it's very light it's not like I'm putting a lot of pressure you see how it becomes a jello There's no rush into putting it into the towel yet because the product works. I'm gonna do a close up before I remove it so you see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if you're able to tell from that far. Okay, so let's see if we can do a close up. Just so you get an idea how much glue we're removing. Let me do a zoom. Okay, so I'm gonna take it away. And put all this gel. Look how much I got. Once I remove the big chunks, Then you can work clean this way. You want to remove all the big chunks first before you use a towel because if you use a towel you're gonna just smear it up and it'll make it a little harder to remove. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do another light application. If you see big chunks, just take them off. Now, I'm going to wipe it off.
Okay. And then I'll do another last application. I saw I missed a spot here and I didn't. Good enough. Okay, I'll do a little closer so you can see. I might apply it one more time, but as you can see, there's no more residue. Thanks for watching. This is Gringo Wash Auto Detailing.